Look, maybe he doesn't care about the baby. You know, Micah, look. 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 Like the wood toilet. Watch the baby go down. He's like, I'm not sure. Give him back. <laughs> I'm done. Our little guy is three days old today. I thought I would share with you all just a little peek into postpartum. If you're expecting your new mom or that's something that you're curious about. <laughs> He's wanting to nurse. So this morning Luke took the other kids to church and I'm just here. I've been in this bed for three days. The midwife explained to me why it's really important to not get up and start doing your normal life for at least 10 to 14 days were her orders. Everything kind of loosens and it has to all come back together, especially the more kids you have. It could present some pretty serious challenges later. I try to follow that with each child for at least a week. This house is a little bit challenging because my bedroom is upstairs and then everything else in the house is downstairs. Whereas in our last house, I could kind of wander in and out of the bedroom into the kitchen and into the living room. She told me I'm allowed one trip up the stairs and one trip down per day. So if I go down, I have to stay down for a while unless I want to be stuck up here all day. Yesterday was my first time doing that. So the first two days I didn't go down at all. And today I haven't been down yet. So as far as postpartum recovery and how that's been going, I feel great. I will say that he has a pretty bad latch. So nursing has been extremely painful. I think he came out with a tongue tie. And actually Micah, my last child, was our first baby with a tongue tie. And when he came out, um, I noticed it right away when he was crying because I was kind of looking for it because it had happened with Micah. It doesn't look as bad as Micah's did, but nursing kind of makes me think that it is. So we're pushing through it. I'm gonna just keep nursing him and it's just a little painful, but he's definitely getting milk and my milk has come in at this point. You can just hear it with the gulps. We do a lot of skin to skin. I have them wrapped up right now just because I don't wanna be naked on the video, but lots of skin to skin time. Knitting him a hat and watching Fixer Upper whenever I can. That is the extent of my life the last three days. And I think this coming week, I am gonna come downstairs probably in the morning and hang out on the couch, do some computer work. Anything that isn't gonna require me to really get up and move around, anything I can do while holding him is probably what I'm gonna do over the next week. And then after that full week, we'll be at about 10 days, so I might start getting back into light activity after that. But we have plenty of food. My sister, Laura, she's my sister who has a YouTube channel called Our Oily House. She's been bringing us food. Plus then after that, I have the freezer meals I made, so we are good to go on that. For my afterbirth cramps, I have been using this tincture. Some of you recommended in my, I believe it was my 40 week update that I should try this. This is a little bit different than the one they recommended. Uh, it's a different brand. The reason I grabbed this one is it had the exact same things as the one that they recommended, but it was on Amazon Prime, which was really important to me because I knew since I was already 40 weeks pregnant that I was gonna be having the baby soon and I wanted it here in time. So I've been taking that and then I also use a heating pad all the time. So I just push a heating pad against my uterus and it really helps. Those are already starting to ease up a little bit here on day three, but they're pretty strong the first couple days, especially the more kids you've had. As far as the birth, everything went really, really well. I think this is probably gonna go up after the birth story, so you can go back and look at that. I did not need any stitches, so that recovery is completely fine. If it wasn't for me being worried about damaging my future bladder and uterus and all that, I feel like I could just get up and just go do my normal life, but I think I can probably manage to sit still for close to two weeks to avoid future problems. The midwife came and did a 24 hour checkup, said he looked great. See, I'm ready to nurse. His little skin is peeling a little bit. Hey. Happy birthday to you. 
What's the baby's name? Did Ruby want some food? Is the baby really hungry, Mom? Um, not right now. He was he nursed all night, a lot, lot during the night. So he's good right now because he just woke up. Can you give him a kiss? Chew. You know, you can't give him a kiss on your face. You only give him a kiss right here because. Yep, no kiss on the face. I only like to touch this, and I can touch it. That's all I like to touch. That's good. That's a good. <laughs> Good big brother. Uh oh. Here comes here comes toddler baby brother. And I like to touch his hand. Uh oh. Remember it's he. It's hard to get used. To, it's hard to get used to not she. Oh, be gentle, sweetie. But I don't like to touch his thing and his eyes and his nose and his mouth. Daniel. Daniel. He's had a nice long wait time. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Careful. <laughs> he gets real into him. Good boy. Daniel. Daniel. Say Daniel. He was trying to say it. He needs lots of support. No, he. he hold it's a boy. Yeah, I know that. No, Jude said she's. Oh my god. Luke brought me some coffee and my breakfast sandwiches. I made in the freezer meal thing. We're, we were just dying to tear into those. We've been excited to eat them. Be gentle with his head. He just wants to nurse and go to sleep now. If you get him close, if you get him close, he's gonna he's gonna nuzzle in. <laughs> He's always looking. <laughs> He's laughing with us. Ah, he's, 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 he's in the boy pack. Ah. Oh, like ten, two of them is one. Is that one Actually, it's, it's 16 cents per pound. Guys, what do you think, Micah? Yeah. You got, oh man. You think we, how many do you think we have? How many pounds do you think we have? Uh, what do they if, if we're from? counting everything once the whole thing is filled, I, I guess mean, like level. about as much as we had last time. No more. I can't. Oh, okay. How much money do you think there's in walnuts out here? Probably maybe one hundred dollars. I think it's four of them. Four of what? Um, walnuts. Oh wow. Good job, Micah. days old today I have him laying skin to skin and he's sleeping so I didn't want to move I had Luke bring me my laptop so I could get a little bit of work done and he also brought me an egg bake and coffee so this is not gonna be a terrible morning for me I just had oh. to text now I forgot me to oh, now Take a picture of him. Take a picture of my baby. Is he sweet, Jude? He's trying to touch me. You know, he's five days old today. Five so days? Big. It's gonna though he just nursed. Look, look, look. Look, you can feel that. That's cool. Look, it's a cat. 
She didn't like you. We are six days old today. I didn't get a lot of footage yesterday because it was really more of the same. I hung out here in bed all day long again, but I did do some vlog work yesterday on my laptop, but that didn't require me to get out of bed. I think today I'm gonna venture downstairs and sit on the couch for most of the day so I can be in the mix. It's too quiet up here. The kids are in and out, of course, but I'd like to be in the mix, although I feel bad when I'm down there not really being able to help with things. He still is having bad latch issues, which I'm gonna ask my midwife about. She comes tomorrow for his one week checkup. Hopefully we can get that resolved because nursing still is painful. We're doing it, but it's not feeling great. As far as overnight sleep, just sleeping with him in my bed, cozied up and nursing. It helps me to get as much sleep as possible. Of course, there's a lot of repositioning and then whenever I get him to latch off, Sometimes he wakes up and I have to redo it again because my whole strategy with newborns is nurse to sleep. If he wakes up, of course, he notices he's not nursing, but it's mostly he gets really drowsy, falls asleep, and then I just kind of roll away and fall asleep for a while, and then we repeat throughout the night, but it's no getting up out of bed. I came down early this morning. I'm looking really wonderful, I can see. And I stayed down here for the day Kind of went back and forth between my computer chair here doing some work and the couch just because I wanted to stay sitting and not really doing much activity and hold the baby exclusively for one week. I was able to do that with I believe the last three kids. Now before that I didn't really realize how valuable that would be and it's just a really special memory and it helps to heal. So for one week I just don't do anything but I'm ready to get out of the house. I think the last time, gosh buddy, when did I get out of the house? I think the last time I left this house was like a week and a half ago now. For now, I'm just enjoying this little snuggle bug who's awake right now. <coughs> Look, buddy. <coughs> but I slept then and now I'm happy. Around 8 a.m., huh? Luke and the kids are bringing all of their walnuts to sell. It's just a little, it doesn't pay very much, but it's just a fun activity. So I'm getting some of the soup that I made in my freezer meal preparation going, and we're gonna have that for lunch today. So I totally forgot to finish up recording on my seventh day, but the midwife did end up coming. They're gonna fuss now? All right, mommy's ready to do her video? Here. And Daniel already surpassed his birth weight by four ounces at one week. So he was 7.15 when the midwife came and checked. At that point, um, this is a few days later because I forgot to finish recording there at the first week. But at that point, the nursing was still hurting really badly. I scheduled an appointment to get his tongue tie evaluated. But now that i've had a few more days for my body to get used to it it's not hurting anymore which i know has happened with a few of my kids they don't have a proper latch it's painful for a while but then it goes away so that's kind of where we're at now and now i'm questioning whether i should even go in for the tongue and lip tie evaluation because he's gained so much weight and nursing is going fine now that it's not super painful so we might put that off for a while but we'll see I think that's all there is to report. Um, first week was just a whole lot of laying in bed. I'm a few days past that now and I've gotten out of the house a couple times, which has been great. Not 100% back into my usual routine, but definitely easing to that point. Oh goodness, okay, well I guess we're gonna nurse yet again.